Have you ever wanted to build your own digital clock? This is the one that I built for myself. While pressing the adjust key and pressing the hour and minute key, we can change the time as per required. Please visit my instructable page for the circuit diagram. So let's get started. You will require these components. We are using an Arduino Uno for controlling the circuit and 477 display or SSD with common anode pins and 3 SPDT switches Start off by cutting the spare wires in the length of 3 cm Peel off the coating of the spare wires and cut them in small pieces Bend them to form 4 small jumper wires Be careful while doing so, you may get hurt We will require these to sort the common anode pins of the displays in the breadboard After you have finished making, lay out the braid board. Start inserting the jumper wires and keep a gap of minimum of half inches between them. Inserting all the G wires, it's time to insert the SSDs. Insert the SSDs in such a way that the common pins of the displays are in the same rows as that of jumper wires and repeat the same with the other displays. Now connect the zero pin of the first display from the left to another row. Now repeat the same process with the other displays in such a manner that the zero pin of the first display from the left is the rightmost and the fourth display the leftmost. Rightmost is number one and the leftmost is number four. Now it's time to hook up the one key of register. Insert the resistance as shown. Of the resistance, it's time to connect the segments of the display. Start off by connecting the dot pins of each display with each other. Repeat the same process with the bottom and the top pins of the displays. Now extend the BFG of the first display to the other rows. Now repeat the same process with the EDC dot pins. I have soldered extra wires to the legs of the SPD switches for good connection. Now insert a switch to the upper row. Insert a small jumper wire connecting one of the legs of the first key with the row below. Now insert the second key connecting one of its legs to the jumper wire. Now insert another jumper wire with the previous connected row and to the another row. Now insert the third key such a manner that one of the legs is connected with the second jumper wire. Now it's time to connect our prototype to the Arduino. 
start by connecting the jumper rope to the ground pin of our twin. The left leg of third key goes to the A1 pin of Arduino. The left leg of the second key goes to the pin A2 of the Arduino. And the left leg of key 1 goes to the pin A0 of Arduino. Now it's time to connect the segments to the Arduino. Pin A goes to pin 2 of Arduino. Pin B goes to pin 3. Pin C to pin 4. Pin D to pin 5. Pin E to pin 6. Pin F to pin 7. Pin G to pin 8. And the dot pin goes to pin 9. Now connecting the anode pins. Pin 4 goes to pin 13. Pin 3 goes to pin 12. Pin 2 goes to pin 11. And pin 1 goes to pin 10. And our circuit is complete. Now plug the Arduino to the computer and upload the code. Visit my project page for the source code and the circuit tree. Its link is given below and is absolutely free. After the code is uploaded, you can see the displays coming to life along with the blinking dots. First key is for adjust. While holding it, press the hour key or the menu to change it. It's easy to make and fun to play. Please alter with the code and make your own version. Thank you.